Hello everyone and welcome back to Hitman Blood Money. Today we have a very sensitive mission. We have to kill a senator's son and we also have to kill a pornography tycoon. And this is what the dude looks like. Like, no joke. Just look at that face for two seconds. We need to kill this guy. Alright, so from the look of it, I think we might be having a Christmas party here tonight. Okay, I don't mind playing a little bit of Santa Claus and delivering some gifts if you know what I mean. What is that? Hey, it's me! Ooh. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. Where, where's the camera at? I'm very bad at finding cameras. Camera! Ca camera! Hi! Oh, shit. It's gone. Alright. Oh, there it is! <laughs> it's right out of the door. Alright, I'll find a way to disable that. Don't you guys worry. Hey, what is that? Where are we going here? I'm gonna call the elevator. Hey, buddy. Nice weather we're having, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Would you mind if I went up here? I don't know if he cares. Doesn't seem like he does. <laughs> He's like, oh! Okay! See you later, buddy. I guess some people like to ride on the top of the elevator. Ooh, snap. I see the booty. I want the booty. <laughs> I don't know where I am right now, but I'm sure there's something important around here. Hello, ma'am. So I think the reason there's so many scantily clad women around is because of the pornography tycoon dude. He likes to have sexy parties and stuff, okay? That's understandable. I think right now I'm actually where I need to be. There's something around here somewhere. Maybe I gotta talk to the bartender. This will give you the extra oomph you'll need to make the most of your time at the grotto, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean, but I'll take it. What are you giving me? Aphrodisiac. Okay. So that is something that makes you want to bang people, okay? Aphrodisiacs are, um... You have to shut the fuck up. So, ladies, you like a man in a nice suit? Huh? You want some of this? Oh, snap! And they're getting up. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, guys, look at this! There's a secret waterfall door over here! And you go inside and... <gasps> There's a dude on the other side. So this is just a place you can go to hide out. What am I gonna be able to do from here? Or there's gotta be something I can do from here. Who's who's in here? Is it just this guy? It looks like it's just this guy. Let me see. Can't see. There's water in my face. I don't like it. Hold on. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna take out the fiber wire. I'm gonna strangle this guy and pull him behind the waterfall. I'm surprised the dude over there didn't see me. I didn't even know he was there. There's a guy in a tux. He's walking around and somehow <laughs> he doesn't know about this dude. Okay, can I pick him up now? That's gonna be important. Okay, so this guy is the photographer, guys. Should I be the photographer now? Can I be the photographer now? I don't know. Oh my god, he looks so worried to be dead right now. <laughs> I think I left a casserole in the oven. Oh no! Hey buddy, I'm the photographer. If you didn't already know. See, I'm dressed as a photographer. I don't know if this is gonna work at all, guys. I can't see this working, but okay. Now where the hell do I need to go? Let's see what I can get away with. Hi guys, I'm here to photograph naked people. Huh? Not bad. Not bad. Where the hell am I going? I like the way this photo shoot looks. Can I be the guy in the back? Mmm. You like this? You like this? Huh? <laughs> Is he gonna... I was hoping he would keep going, because he doesn't seem to really mind that I'm here. I haven't gotten any, like, suspicion. <laughs> but okay. Alright, I'll keep going on my way, alright? Have fun. Be very... Oh! Place bomb! What am I placing a bomb on? You know what? It doesn't even matter. I'll place it wherever. It went right there. So what the hell is gonna fall? The lights? The set? The something? Who's even around here? Nobody that I gotta kill right now. Oh! Oh! Never mind, there's a dude I gotta kill. He's right there. Where's he going? What is he doing? I'm gonna leave the room. I'm gonna go do some other things and I'll be back. There's a videotape right here and I really want it, okay? It's called, um, uh, Governor's Son. Wow, okay, they really didn't fuck around with the name. It's literally the Governor's Son. And he's apparently killing a hooker. Let me just grab that. Okay! All right, you know what? Never mind. You can have it. I'm just, I'm just gonna go. So this time I got the videotape without a problem. I don't know why. I guess he just didn't glance over at me. I don't know what to do next, but that's one of the things on our list. So that's good. He's coming, guys. He's coming through the door. That's him right there. That's the weird looking dude. I gotta go look at him. Hold on, weird looking dude. I'm coming. Oh, you're so freaking weird looking dude. Wow. So blowing up the bomb triggers this light rig right here to fall down. So we gotta try and kill the dude with it, but I don't know when exactly we should do that because I know we have to kill someone else as well. So maybe I'll leave that, okay? That seems pretty cut and dry. That seems like a pretty obvious situation right there. So let me try, let me try going other places. Santa? Is that you, Santa? 
What are you doing, man? You're not supposed to be drunk. It's Christmas. How could you do this to me, Santa? How could you do this to all the kids around the world, man? I think I can throw a knife at him. I'm not completely sure. Does he even care? I mean, he's super drunk. I don't think he's even gonna notice if I grab a knife. Okay, I got a knife, Santa. Oh, that's it. Yeah, you run away, you stupid bitch. Okay, well, I'm gonna walk away. Who is showering over here? A waiter. Okay. Hey, don't you, don't you interfere with my... He's not interfering with my peeping. Good. Well, wait, what, shit, waiter. I am the waiter. Okay, well, that's not a good thing. He just said run for your life. So that that's okay. Hi. I don't see anybody here who could be the guy you're looking for because cause he's different now because he put on a suit. Goodbye. It actually worked. I got away. Okay. Well, now I need to become a waiter. Well, I am a waiter. Now I need to do something about it. Okay. This is great. Quite popular, if illegal, at high school proms, this little bad boy can transform even the most ardent Buddhist monk into a sex-craving lunatic. I need to get me some of that! I just added an aphrodisiac to someone's drink. Apparently it's this dude. No idea who he is, but we're about to see something fun happen. Or maybe he's bringing it to the other dude. Honestly, I have no idea. Why would I want people to bang? That doesn't even seem relevant. But I mean, I'll do it. Sure, if you want to bang, go ahead and bang. I'll make it easier. Ooh. Guys, he just laid that drink next to this dude. That's the dude we gotta kill. What? You're hitting women, dude? Stop it! She's, she just casually gets up and walks out of the pool. Like, you know what? Mm, not really in the mood to get beat on today. Just drink your drink and become a sex-crazy maniac and then something else will happen. Hey there, buddy. Listen, I gotta talk to you. How's the drinks doing, hey? Oh, okay, I'm too close to you. That's fine. I was just trying to, just trying to say hi. You get back in the get back in the hot tub. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Oh, I know what's happening. Okay, okay. So this dude is now horny enough to want to go bang that girl. All right, let's have a look and see what's going on here. This guy is sitting down. That's some booty. Okay. Now what? Move the booty. You can't see that guy anymore. Okay. Well, this isn't very fun, is it? I felt like there would be more to wait a second. Watch. Hey, she's gonna do a little bit of dancing. Okay, I have no idea where I am right now, and I have no idea how to kill these people. What? Okay, you know what? Jet that's put a foot right in his crotch. I like that. I, I like the way that is. What if I just went in there and just killed them, guys? I think that'd be good enough. Let me just try that. There's no one around, right? Okay, let's just open up the door and just shoot them a bunch. See, perfect. Now, just close that door. No one's ever gonna know that it even happened, okay? Wow. Okay, so they got a little bit crazy in the bedroom, and somehow they died from it. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. I wonder what happens if you shoot the bottom of this jacuzzi. People fall out of it. That's what happens. Okay, well, nobody saw me do it, so that's all that matters. I just like killing people, okay? Don't worry about it. <laughs> that was awesome, though. I'm not gonna lie. Hi. What's, uh, what's going on? You're beckoning me in here, but I don't really know why. Men are so easy. What? What are you- Shame to waste such a nice hunk of meat. <laughs> what a girl's gotta do. What a girl's gotta do. Okay, well, I'm gonna load that game. There you go. Okay, take that, you crazy bitch. Okay, this is endgame. He's standing under the lights that I need to blow up. I'm just gonna grab this detonator. And boom. Please die. What? Oh, yep, yep, I got him. I got him. I thought he wasn't gonna get away that time. Are people mad at me for this? Man, I didn't even do it. I swear. He's in here, boys. That way. Go, run. Do, do the thing now. While I leave. I don't think they know it was me, guys. I think they were just like, what the fuck just happened, man? Okay, yeah, yeah, I got away. I'm clean. These hands, they didn't do nothing. Montana Mountain News, hoodlum kills again. Chad Bingham Jr. killed. Police suspect blood money is involved, just like always. Awesome. So for this next mission, guys, we are actually on a riverboat and we have to kill not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven people, and I can't wait. I don't feel like this is gonna be super hard. It's a pretty straightforward area. It's just a boat with like a few quarters and stuff on it. We need to get a um, a high class person because there's only one person that's allowed to go into the um, 
into the private deck where all the gang members are. So we need to become that person, or that type of person, whatever the hell it is. That one says staff only. I can't go in there. We gotta go somewhere, and we gotta do something, and people need to die. This is one fancy pantsy shenanigan up here, guys. I don't even know what the story is for this one. I just know there's a bunch of fancy people walking around, you know, eating food on a boat and stuff. And I'm looking around trying to find ways to kill people. Hi. Don't look at me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get your favorite man and get him. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Okay. That took way longer than I expected. But I got somewhere. I'm going to drag this man towards this crate. I will put him inside the crate. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to become him first. That's a good idea. I am a sailor now. Oh, damn. Put that fire out, baby. Okay, well, this is a little bit weird, guys. I'm in the engine room right now. And for some reason, it's saying that I got like a full red for suspicion meter. But I'm not really doing anything, okay? Nobody's even gotten mad at me. I wanted to push that guy into the furnace. It's not even an option. The hell is this shit, man? Okay, let me think about this for a moment, guys. What if I shot that guy, then shot this guy, then shot the other guy? I don't know if they'll let me do that or not, but I'm gonna try it. Where the hell is my gun? I don't have a gun? Oh, God, I really screwed up, didn't I? Shit. I mean, in that case, I'll just fiber wire him, I guess. One fiber wire for you. Okay. I gotta get the other guy and the other guy before <laughs> anyone finds out that this guy was fiber wired. Okay, put that away. Let's run over. Oh shit, there's another dude here. Guys, you can't go up there. This is not a safe place to go. If you go up there, you're gonna see a dead body over here. Oh, okay. Should I put the dead body in the furnace? Probably. Come on, put the body in the furnace. Throw over rail. Throw over rail. There. How is, how is he not seeing this? I'm putting him right here. Okay, body's in the furnace. And that guy, nobody saw anything. Good. Okay, let's keep going. Come on. Get him. Okay, I got him. I got him. The other guy is way down there. So if I do the same thing with this guy, put him in the furnace, we should be good. Actually, since this guy is just, you know, having a look over here, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that one real quick as well. And then we'll drag him up there and do both of them. Whoa! I love it when that happens, man. I don't think it's supposed to happen, but it's great when it does. <laughs> Let's get you out of here, buddy. Come on. Throw over rail. Okay, I can just put him down here, guys. It's no big deal. Now what happens? Nothing. Great. So, so far, we've killed one person, okay? Out of the seven people we need to kill, this guy is probably gonna be the next guy to die. I think he might come out here and just hang out. If he does, I'm just gonna throw him overboard. I think I need to kill him and then throw him overboard. But same thing, you know what I'm saying? Just grab that, give that a tug, and boom. Great. Now we just drag the body and throw over the rail. Nobody is gonna know. That's two out of seven. I think we can kill most of the dudes, like, at the same time by poisoning them, but we'll find out. Okay, so I can get in the back room where all the good stuff is happening. They just gotta search me first, but there's nothing on me that they could want to take. You're all set. Thank you very much. I don't even have a gun, man. My gun disappeared at some point, so whatever. Oh my god. This guy's just gonna stand there and let me kill him? This is so easy. What? Oh, hang on. It didn't work. It didn't work. There you go. Okay. Yeah, this, this guy is just standing up here. I didn't realize he was the one who's checking on the cake. There's a cake in there, right? And I need to go in there and I need to poison it. But then this guy walks out of nowhere, stands up with his back turned to me, and is like, hey, bro, you wanna kill me? Just go ahead and do it. I love it when people kill me. Sure, if that's what you like, it's done. What I wanted to do was I wanted to go in here, okay? That's the cake right there. We need to wait for the right moment where the, uh, where the chef is not looking at me. I think this should be good here. He goes down there, I think I can creep in and kill him. Let's hope so. Open that door and get in here. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Okay, chef, you need to move, chef. Don't be there like that. All right, I think we're good now. I think we can put him in this thing here. Can we? Is that, yes, we can. So we just need to walk down here and take him out. Oh, crap, crap. Chefy, chefy, no, chefy. No, that's not good. Don't do that. Bad chef. My kitchen knife now. Nobody heard that, so that's good. I think we're just gonna keep going, okay? This is the first class purser. He's the only person allowed to go where the gang is. So this is the guy we need, okay? I didn't realize he was just a chef. That's cool. Well, I'm gonna be him now. Here we go. Hey, I'm a purser! Dispose of the body. He accidentally spilled some uh, animal blood on the floor. He was making a um, uh, blood pudding. He was making blood pudding. 
Absolutely. And he spilled some on the floor. And there it is. Don't question it. Now, this is a cake. Okay. Definitely a cake. But we need something to poison it with. Not much good by itself. So now, guys, we are on the fifth floor. This is the place that only the gang members and this dude I'm dressed up as is allowed to go. So I'm just going to try and go in if that's okay. Oh, go ahead. I don't have nothing to worry about on me. You can touch my body all day long. But then I'm going to touch yours. And it won't feel good. Okay, there is something of interest in here. It's probably this gigantic safe right here. Okay. Yep. <laughs> there you go. And there are some pictures in here. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're incriminating pictures. I'm just going to go ahead and close that again. Where do I get some poison, man? Hey. Okay, I'll something hither if you don't mind. I thought I was allowed here, but I guess not. I'm going to go through this one instead. It's, uh, hey, oh, there's a guy showering in here, man. I can't catch a break. Mmm, there we go. I managed to poison something, guys. It took me such a long time to figure out how to do that. Apparently, the only way to, um, to poison something is to use your injection as you would on a person. You just click it, and it'll do it. So now I can pick up the cake. It's poisoned, and I can poison that, uh, fat-ass guy upstairs. Let's go poison fat-ass. Hey, fat-ass. You want some cake? Huh? You want some cake? Here, I got a cake for you. I don't know what to do with it. Put cake on table. Here we go. There's your cake, sir. Just go ahead and have some. It's not gonna kill ya. I don't exactly need to kill this guy, but if he's gonna be up here and in the way, I might as well take care of him, right? I'm assuming nothing bad's gonna happen if I do that. I'll throw him overboard like everybody else. And then once the captain dies of his cake overdose, aka from the poison in it, we are going to kill the rest of the dudes just like this, throw them overboard, and we'll be done. Alright guys, now the captain is dead, so I gotta be really careful, because someone's gonna find out really soon if I don't take care of it. Okay, thank you, thank you, excuse me, I gotta run. Oh no, it's a dead captain! We need to drag this body. We need to go somewhere with this thing right now. I don't even know where we need to take it. I guess we can go through the room, and go out the other side and just throw it overboard, right? A little bit further, a little bit further, and there we are! There goes the captain! Overboard, never to be seen again, I guess. And now there are just a couple dudes left. Three dudes. One of them is coming right here. He's probably gonna look overboard. I'm gonna kill him too. Taking that fiber wire as always. Killing him with it. And throwing him overboard. Man, we are just violent with that fiber wire sometimes. There's body number six out of seven. Now we just have one more to get. I don't think it's gonna be that hard. We could shoot him in the face if we wanted. It really does not matter. We just need to get him killed so we can leave on the rescue boat. Okay, there's a gun down there. That wouldn't be suspicious at all. You know what? Nothing is suspicious. Not having no gang members around, that's not suspicious. That's just normal, right? They just, they all went for naps. Oh, crap. I have no idea, okay? I ain't got a darn tootin' clue. Or something. That's it. You go ahead and you leave. Okay, because you are the... Don't look at me, okay? We're dressed the same way. You look stupid, too. Don't scratch your head. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, exactly. And now, to execute the final part of our plan. We just have to grab the fiber wire one more time. And do this to that guy. And we should be good. I don't even feel like I need to leave the body. Like, I don't even feel like I need to throw it overboard. I feel like I can just leave it right here. But I'll, I'll take it overboard, okay? Just because everything else has been done so freaking flawlessly. And there you go, buddy. You are the missing link. Goodbye. And there you go. This right here is how we leave the mission. Who the hell is this person? Is that one of the guys that I threw overboard? <laughs> Whoops. Apparently I didn't do a very good job doing that because he's lying right here. But luckily, nobody saw him. So I'm just going to go ahead and press the E key right now and leave. Boom. I just love that music, man. It just really says, you did a good job, buddy. You did a good job. The Louisiana Mail. The Eraser slays 12. Skip Muldoon killed. Police suspect blood money is involved. Alright, so that is another two missions complete. I'm really digging this whole do two missions per episode thing. I think it's working pretty well, and I'm having a lot of fun, and I hope you guys are too. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.